So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the most basic type of text that you can in Adobe Premiere Pro. In subsequent videos, I'll go through some more advanced animation techniques if you're interested. Um, so what I have here is a uh, square video that I already created in the previous tutorial. And what I want to do is put some text here to try and tell a story. Um, at the moment, I'm in the editing panel of Adobe Premiere Pro. And what we need to do is move over to the graphics panel. So I'm going to click on that. Um, and everything will change. But what we're interested in is this sidebar here. You'll see that there's a text tool, a type tool. So click on that and then click on the image and just type something. And that's how I can create text. And um, if I then click on the cursor, I can move my text around the image to put it where I want. And um, by creating this text, it's actually created a new element down in my sequence. This is the text here. I can move this element all over my sequence. So let's say I want that text to appear at the start of my video, I'd put it at the start. If I want it at the end of the video, I'd put it at the end. I can decrease the duration that the text is on screen or increase the duration. So if I want the text to be two seconds long and in the middle of the video, that's what it would look like. If I press space, you'll see that text appear on screen for two seconds and then disappear. Now, just like in Word or Photoshop, there's so many uh, customizations we can make to this text to make it look um, nicer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on the text again, click on the type and go back in here and actually do some editing. So first off, let's write something that actually makes sense to the image. So I'm going to say, it's a cliche, but why not? Welcome to paradise. Secondly, I really don't like the, the font choice. Um, for some reason, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro has picked a text of Myriad Pro and I don't like it. Um, so I'm going to change the font. So I'm going to highlight my text here and then go into the font choice and there's lots of different options you get with uh, Premiere Pro, but um, I've downloaded some options that I like better and I showed you how to do that in a previous video. So here's Open Sans, which is a free font, uh, custom font that I downloaded previously. So I'm gonna open, open Sans and let's have a look how that's looking. Now you can see that now the text is off screen. I need to move it over. If I click on the cursor, I can just move it back over click back on the tech type tool. Um, I think I'm going to change welcome to, so the first letters from regular open sans to, um, from, to open sans light. That's what I want. Okay. And then paradise. I think I'm going to change that to open sans extra bold. There we go. All right, I'm a bit happier with that. There's lots of other options you can do, for instance, color. So if I say want to change that paradise word to a different color, uh, the fill option down here is where you change color. So if I click on that, you can select a different color on the palette here, or you can also use the, the dropper. So if you click on the dropper and then click somewhere else on the screen, it will select whatever color that is. Um, just for our purposes, I'm going to create my own color. Something like that will do. Okay, so another option that you can change is the positioning of the text. So at the moment it's positioned and aligned to the left. I think in this instance, I want it aligned to the right. It's moved it over to the other side of the screen, but I can just click on the cursor and move it back. Um, now with these social media text videos, 
you have to remember that most of your audience is probably watching it on their phone, which means that large text is necessary. If you want to increase the text size, it's this option here. At the moment, it's at 100. I'm going to make that a bit bigger to, yeah, about there. So it really takes up a lot of the screen. I know it looks uglier, but uh, it helps people read the text on their phone. And I think I'll align it like that. All right, so now I'm just going to have a look what that looks, that plays like. So if I click back into my sequence and I press space to play, there's my very basic text. It's a bit short at two seconds. I'm going to extend it out. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, now, the last thing I wanted to show you in terms of really basic text is at the moment this text just appears. Pop. It just appears. And maybe that's what you want, and then it just disappears like that. Or maybe you want, or maybe it's not what you want. Um, one really simple way to make uh, the, the appearance and disappearance of the text a little cleaner is to use an effect. So at the moment we're in the graphics panel. Now I'm going to go and click over to the effects panel. And here we have all the different effects available in Adobe Premiere Pro. And just search for one called cross dissolve. That's what we want, cross dissolve. And if I put that at the start of my text, and also at the end of my text, what's going to happen is instead of that text just appearing, it's going to dissolve in, and then it will dissolve out as well. So it's just a cleaner way to have text appear. If you want the dissolve to be faster or slower, just double, I'll zoom in, you double click on the cross dissolve effect itself, and you get the duration. You can change it from one second to two seconds or half a second. You can also manually just drag the dissolve effect like so. So I think I'm going to keep it a little bit shorter. I'm happy with that. Okay, secondly, I just want to show you how to create multiple elements of text on one screen. Um, so I'm just going to drag another clip over and I am going to create two pieces of text. So the first one I'll put here, let's call it text one. And text one has been created down here. And then I'm going to move this cursor over and create another text. Uh, let's just put it here, text two. And that's created another piece of text here. So if I want them both to appear on the screen at the same time, I move text one and text two on top of each other. Now they're both there. Um, I'll rearrange this just so it looks a little nicer. So let's say text one goes there and let's change that to welcome to. And then text two. Paradise. Okay. And I'll let that there. Okay. So I have, I've basically got the same text we had before, but I've split it into two separate elements. What this means is, let's say I want Welcome To to appear at the start of the clip and Paradise to come in a couple of seconds later. I'll just reduce the length of the Paradise text. And now if I press space, Welcome To, Paradise. So if I add, if I go to my effects panel and I add that cross dissolve element again to the start and the end of each piece of text, I've basically kind of created my own very basic animation. So, welcome to paradise. And then they'll both fade out at the same time. So you, you can, even with this really basic way of creating text, you can, get, you can kind of create the illusion of animation by 
individually creating each word as a different text element and then manually changing around various uh, configurations of that element so you can tell a story either to your voice or to music or at the very least to the timing of the video. So I hope that assists you. We've made here a very basic text animation and then a slightly more advanced animation. Um, and hopefully that's enough for you to complete your assignment. I'm going to now also show you some far more advanced ways to make text animations. These are only, uh, these uh, examples are only for students who really want to dive in deep. Uh, so I'll see you in the next video.